and welcome to Baking with Chickens, the show about conquering your fear of baking. And today I'm gonna help you conquer your fear of layer cakes. These have been my nemesis for so long, but check out this beautiful watermelon lemonade painted buttercream cake. I'm gonna show you how to make this. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm -hmm. This cake did not start looking out like this. Things went horribly awry. Bastard cake. <laughs> Dirty unicorn cake is what I'm gonna call this. <laughs> I'm so upset. Stick around, because I'm gonna show you how to save a failed frosted cake. Without further ado, let's go. Grab the recipe for this down in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of those things. Bok bok bake. We need to make our lemon cake. The first step here is to cream the butter and the sugar. So next up, I'm gonna add my egg yolks. I separated out the egg yolks from the egg whites. And the reason why I did that is because I want to whip the egg whites into soft peaks to fold in later. That's gonna give me a lighter, fluffier cake crumb. Ah! You can use the same technique for pancakes. You separate them out, whip up the egg whites, and then add them into the batter. I'm so fluffy, oh so fluffy. So I'm gonna add in the egg yolks one at a time. I'm gonna add in my lemon juice and lemon zest. I'm gonna set this aside for a second. Yeah. Ow. The next step is I need to whip these egg whites. The important part is when you're whipping egg whites, you wanna make sure there's no egg yolks, no oils in your bowl, and none on your whisk. If you wanna really make sure, you can get some lemon juice or some vinegar to wipe out the inside of a bowl. Use metal or glass, never plastic, because plastic can kinda of hold in those oils. Your mom's egg whites are whipped. So I'm gonna pour in my egg whites here, cause I'm lazy and I wanna do it this way. Hopefully it doesn't make a mess. <laughs> That was actually really dangerous. People don't realize how strong the motor is in these KitchenAids. If I had gotten my finger or my hair caught in that, please be safe. Do it the right way. Don't do it the lazy way like I'm doing it. But look, I'm alive. drops of yellow food coloring to get the cake a little bit more yellow. Turmeric is another great natural yellow food coloring that you could use if you don't like using the chemicals. Got my nice egg whites here and I've got my batter and we're gonna use a fold technique to add those in. So you wanna fold it so you don't press the air out of all of the meringue that you just nicely whipped up. And then next we need to pour in the batter into our cake pans. I'm using these spring form pans to get my little cake layers really nice. The key is to make sure you're spraying it with cooking spray. I'm gonna use a one cup scoop to scoop it in here so that I know that I'm getting the accurate amount and equal amounts into each cake layer pan. When you put your cake into the oven, close the door. Do not open it again. Do not open it again. Leave the door closed. So the reason why is because as the cakes are rising and the chemistry is working, you see the cakes rise and they're gonna make their little dome. And if you open the oven, the temperature is gonna decrease because you're letting all that hot air out. And then that top part that hasn't solidified yet is gonna dip down and you're gonna get a little cake belly button. And you don't want cake belly buttons. Keep that door closed until you see that center of the cake has risen and it's solid. Got it? No cake belly buttons. So now we wait while I eat this piece of pizza. Mm -hmm. I order extra pizza just so I can have cold pizza. My cakes are done, I'm gonna pull them out of the oven. Check it out. A good way to check if your cakes are done is just grab a little toothpick, stick it right down the middle and see if it comes out clean. There you go. If it comes out clean, it's done. If it doesn't, it still needs to bake a little bit longer. cakes are cooling in the freezer, I am going to make my watermelon lemonade soaking syrup. 
So here's a cool tip for how you can make better layer cakes. Don't be afraid of soaking syrup. I know, it sounds weird, right? Like why would I put more sugar on top of sugar in a cake? I'm putting liquid and so now I'm getting soggy cake? Ew. But what I learned was soaking syrup is actually a really great way to keep your cake moist and it's another way you can add layered flavors into your cake. I'm gonna make a watermelon lemonade soaking syrup, which is basically just simple syrup. It's just sugar water and you can flavor it with all different ways. I have my yellow watermelon here. I'm gonna puree it, add it with some lemon and some sugar and cook it on the stove to cook it down. I'm gonna save my watermelon rinds here for the chickens because chickens love eating watermelon. It's one of their favorite snacks and it's great for them in hot weather. So I have my immersion blender here and I am just going to blend up all of this to get a cup of liquid. I'm gonna pour it into my saucepan along with sugar and lemon juice. I'm gonna cook it down into a syrup so that it's more concentrated and has less liquid, more flavor. It's not an exact science. I cook it down simmer about 10 minutes or so. So this is done boiling. So see how it's kind of changed consistency? It's a little bit thicker, it's gooier. I'm gonna set this aside to cool while we make the buttercream. The key to all great layer cakes is frosting. I'm making a lemon buttercream to go with my watermelon lemonade cake. Swiss buttercream uses egg whites with sugars melted in, whipped into a meringue, and then you incorporate your butter. If you don't know how to make it and you want more detailed instructions, be sure to check out my all about meringue episode. It talks about everything meringue and egg whites and how you can make the best Swiss meringue, and I show you how to make Swiss meringue buttercream step by step. <laughs> Here's another great tip for you if you wanna make awesome layer cakes. The right tools make all of the difference. You want your cardboard, bottom cake rounds, you want cake spinny turntable thing, you want spatulas, piping bags, piping tips, all of that. I really need a long flat tool to scrape the sides of the cake. That's how you get those perfectly smooth sides. I don't have one of those, but I'm gonna make one. I have a piece of cardboard and some parchment paper here. <laughs> I don't need no expensive tool when you got cardboard and parchment paper. Check it out, my cake scrapey tool. <laughs> I have got my nice hard cakes here and I need to cut off this little dome piece that's right here and make it flat so that it'll stack into nice layers. You wanna get a nice serrated knife, like a bread knife. You wanna cut it straight across. Kinda hold your knife straight and you cut it. Ta-da, nice flat top. For my watermelon lemonade cake, I am using this organic watermelon fruit spread that I found at Trader Joe's, which is like a yummy, delicious watermelon jam that tastes like Jolly Rancher, but with real fruit. And then some lemon curd. If you don't have any watermelon spread, don't worry about it. You can totally make your own with some watermelon puree, some cherry juice, lemon juice. You could totally cook some down and make your own jam with pectin. Lemon curd, you can buy at the store, or you can also make your own really easy. You just need lemon juice, egg yolks, sugar, cornstarch, stir it all up and you can get a beautiful lemon curd. I'm so excited. Now we are ready for the fun part. This amazing watermelon lemonade cake is gonna come together before your eyes. All right, this whole thing was gooing all over the place. So I had to take it and rush it to the freezer. What I just made here is a crumb layer. And what that is, is basically a layer of frosting before you put your final frosting on. And it's kind of like your glue and your spice spackle to hold this entire cake thing together. Let's pull out my frosting. Hmm. This cake is a bit precarious, it's kind of wobbly. I'm going to use my piping bag to make this easier. I'm gonna use this tool. My cake is super lopsided. Go cake. Ah, back that way. This is all going very poorly and it's falling. It's not a happy cake. You can do it. Back into the freezer it goes. <laughs> In order to make a painted buttercream cake, you need to make colored buttercream. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a few scoops of my buttercream and add some food coloring to it. All right, let's go check on my cake. It's a little lumpy wumpy. So this is not my best layer cake. Still gonna taste good and I'm still gonna eat you. you bastard cake. Let's get into the painting the buttercream because that's the fun part. Is 
Is this a unicorn barf cake? <laughs> Dirty unicorn cake is what I'm gonna call this. This is not painted buttercream. I'm so upset. Don't cry for me, Christina. Dirty unicorn cake was a hot mess disaster. It is not at all what I promised. I am gonna make an attempt to save this cake. <laughs> I am going to take off all of this frosting. No wonder my cake is lumpy bumpy. Look at this, it's all over the place. Let me see if I can fix these layers and straighten them out. Now I'm basically just starting from my crumb coat all over again. What a waste of good frosting. So I have new fresh made frosting here. This is looking so much better already. I've got a pretty heavy crumb coat on to kind of smoothen this out again. Here's one thing I've learned about making layer cakes using frosting. So you really can't rush it. Things need time to chill and cool, harden and do their thing. So I put this in the fridge, chilled it for a bit so that it would harden and I could do the next layer. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna grab an offset spatula here, grab a little, spackle it on. Check out this gorgeous painted buttercream cake. It looks so good. There was a rocky patch there for a second, but I learned so much. You just gotta give cake time. You can't rush a layer cake. You need to take the time to chill it, to do all of the steps that you have to do. Look how beautiful it is. Let's see. It's so pretty. This is my favorite part, the ultimate taste test. So if you look at my cake layers, I've got my layer of the watermelon lemonade soaking syrup. There's a little bit of curd. There's that watermelon jam. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, this cake is awesome. This is like a glass of cold watermelon lemonade on a hot day while you're at a pool party. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna sit here and crush this cake. Forget it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can make this at home. It couldn't be easier. This is Baking with Chickens. I'm Christina. Bok Bok Bake, everybody. My cake is so yummy. You want to eat my cake? That's really dirty. <laughs> mm. <laughs>